if you're new here, you're way behind and have no idea what's going on. So go watch my first video and then you'll understand where we're at. But if you don't want to do that, the Cliff Notes version is my name's Christy. I'm recovering from a motorcycle wreck where I was internally decapitated. Among many other things, I'm kind of a freak of nature and a medical anomaly and I started a YouTube to improve my mental health, give me something to do, a project to focus on and try to get my life back on track and now I'm letting you watch me figure that out. Just left the surgeon's office and I got cleared to start walking around the house as tolerated and I can drive. And I'm so excited. There's so much I want to do. Yeah, today's a good day. You girls walking again. went and saw the orthopedic surgeon and I did get clear to walk again. I am extremely happy and of course I came home and immediately tried to tackle six weeks worth of chores on the first day which was a terrible idea. When I woke up the next morning my whole body hurt. I was sore. It's amazing how sore you can get from just moving. When you're not used to moving and then you start moving again everything hurts and currently I have had a drastic increase in pain but my mental well-being is much better. I feel more like myself. I've just got to keep working hard in PT, get my stamina and my strength up so that I can get back to living as close to normal as possible. A lot of you have been asking about the book progress. For those of you who are new here or don't know, I dabble a little bit in writing. I'm not professional by any means. I'm very much an amateur, but you know, I'm not a writer, but I am someone who has a unique story and perspective that I'm trying to figure out the way to tell it. Um, hence, the YouTube. Um, I have not gotten I have been working on it, but I, I mean, I haven't gotten too terribly far. I'm the type of, like when I write a blog, I have to be like really in my feelings about it. Um, I, I'm not somebody that can just sit down and write on command. It doesn't work like that for me. I have to kind of be really feeling something to write about it. So I'm just taking my time and, you know, writing as I feel inclined to do so. And maybe one day I will have a book. <laughs> so I have had several people inquire about my motorcycle helmet. So I had my husband dig it out and a little bit of a trigger warning. It has not been cleaned up since that day. It's not been touched. So there's still some blood and, and stuff on there. First of all, can I just say how adorable my helmet is? I absolutely love it. Um, but as you can see, it's, it's scuffed up, not too terribly bad, but that is blood and, to be quite honest, blood and probably vomit on the helmet that you're seeing. And if you look super close right there, you can see where it's cracked. Not all the way through, but I mean, you can see that I did hit my head uh, and had, you know, some sort of impact there. I did have a, it's called a bubble shield. I did have a shield on um, that covers that, but I, I think it was just kind of scuffed up. It, it, it wasn't shattered or anything like that, but um, yeah, it's a little bit weird seeing that. I don't know if I should clean it up or just tuck it away or you know I don't really know exactly what to do with it to be honest with you strange 
I loved this helmet. This is a, uh, if any other riders have ever rode on the Tail of the Dragon, uh, that's where that sticker came from. But I was very proud of this helmet. Loved it. But there she is. I don't know what you were expecting, but um, there's the helmet. I've also been getting a lot of questions, uh, especially from foreigners, from people who don't live in the U.S. They're asking about our wonderful healthcare system and medical bills. I will say one of the biggest frustrations that I had or have because this makes no sense, okay? I was employed with a company as a paramedic where I had insurance through my employer, right? So then I have a horrific accident, severely injured to the point that I can't go back to work in that capacity. And because I can't work, I lose my medical insurance. But I still have all these injuries Luckily, I was able to get on Lee's insurance through his job at the fire department, so I'm covered, but what if I was single, or what if our only option was COBRA, like, what, what do you do? And I filed for disability in February of 2022, here it is January 2023. And I still have not had a decision made. In fact, I went today to see a neurologist that they sent me to, to be evaluated. Tell them what we're doing today here. Seeing a disability neurologist. What do you think about it? <laughs> Damn joke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why the words of like my doctors are not good enough they keep sending me to these like community health centers to get evaluated by their physicians and it's an absolute joke like this it smells like a nursing home in here so let's just hope he's nice because my patience is running out so it has been a very frustrating process. I'm fortunate that I was able to get onto my husband's insurance, but I lost my job, all of my income, and here it is like 15 months later, and this little YouTube I'm doing is my only source of income now. We did have a friend that did a GoFundMe when my accident first happened, and which was really sweet and I think it raised like $5,000 and of, of course every penny of that went to hospital bills. I've got one statement for my first day in the hospital was over a million dollars. I think it was like $1.3 million for the one day. I was in the hospital almost three months. As far as the helicopter transport, I want to say that was like 50 something thousand dollars, but I actually had an additional insurance through Air Evac that covered it, so I didn't have to pay out of pocket for that. Thank goodness, if I didn't have that additional insurance, then we would owe 50 something thousand dollars just for the flight. And as far as how the bills are being paid, Lee works two full-time jobs. And prior to my accident, I had actually, I sold my car and then I bought my mother-in-law's old car for really cheap because she couldn't drive anymore. And I got rid of my car payment and I was saving like $600 a month, putting, putting back into a savings account because I was getting ready to go to nursing school. So when I had my accident, I had some money saved up and that's what I've lived on uh, until now. And I don't know how people without these resources get through something like this. It is mind blowing to me that you can work your whole life, have medical insurance, have or be involved in an accident or get cancer or whatever, to the point you're unable to work and so you lose your insurance and make it make sense.
please make it make sense it's it's so backwards it's so wrong i'm not saying i know what the answers are but the system we have now <laughs> does not work unless you are on medicaid which we won't qualify for or you are super rich if you're unfortunately stuck in middle class like we are, you're just kind of SOL. I mean, I don't really know what else to say about that, but that's been our journey. The next thing that I wanted to show you guys, and I wanted to show this to you because I see little elderly people out all the time and I had never seen one of these bags before. And I'm using a walker some now while my you know while i'm fresh on my new knee this walker has been or this bag has been a lifesaver i everybody laughs at me because i call it my little uh fanny pack but it's got this huge compartment here it's got uh pockets on the front for like chapstick and stuff or tissues and then it's got this pouch on the back where i keep my wallet um, it's all secured on there by Velcro. There's lots of different colors. And there's also this cup holder that I had my husband mount on it because I have my drink. And you ever heard the phrase, handy as a shirt pocket? <laughs> that Walker fanny pack is handy as a shirt pocket. Um, my mother-in-law actually has my old walker and another bag and another cup holder so when i had this surgery i had to buy another one for me but i'll drop a link up here and in the description if you are somebody that has an elderly family member or you use a walker to get around or whatever you need one of these bags go get it and then come running back to these comments and tell me how much you love it because it's it's amazing. That got me thinking like should I do like a weekly include like a, a weekly gadget Amazon find in these videos because I'm an Amazon addict. Sometimes I have it shipped to the post office, sometimes I have it shipped to the house. That way it doesn't look as crazy but i've got lots of cool little gadgets i would like to show you guys and yeah i will see how you like that other than that i did sell several hats this week thank you to everyone that purchased one there's still some more left i will put my etsy shop link in the description and in my last video i told you that i wasn't going to be adding new things to my store but I found the cutest little, I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, but I found this a pattern for a really cute thing that I can make pretty fast and I can make a lot of them. So when I'm in my downtime in between projects or whatever, I'm just gonna start making these. I'm gonna put it on my Etsy site. It'll be super affordable. It's you know not a $60 hat. Um, it'll be more in like the $15 range and that way if you would like to buy something and support this channel, support my Etsy, you know, everybody will have that opportunity. Coming up next week, I go back to see my neurosurgeon, which if you've been following me, then you know that's kind of a big deal. Um, we're looking at the possibility of another neck surgery and I'm kind of on a month by month basis with that. So I don't want to get too, I don't want to talk about it too much before that appointment because I'll just get myself uh, worked up and stressed out and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to hope for the best and just see what happens um he initially told me that he would give me a year and he gave me that year and was not happy but was still super hesitant to put me through another neck surgery because the first one almost killed me um 
it uh, we're just we're walking a, a tightrope right now with with that and um, <laughs> clearly it's difficult for me to talk about because every time I try to update you guys and tell you guys what's going on with that I get like I just suddenly can't find my words and yeah um, hmm actually feel kind of stupid because <laughs> sitting here trying to talk to you about it and I am actually speechless I cannot come up with anything to say that makes any sense so we'll just move on and next week when I do this update I will let you know what we find out remember in my last video when I told y'all about that we were getting chickens and I was gonna make the egg apron well, I've been working on it over the past couple of days and it actually worked up faster than I thought. But here's where I'm at now. Now I have to sew it all on there, make a sh the waist strap and it'll be done. But this one's going to go to my sister-in-law because she actually has chickens right now that lay eggs. So this one's going to go to her and then I will make myself another one. But I used all scrap yarn for this and I think it's really cute. I'm super excited about it. This little demon right here. Say hey Pookie. This is spooky. And she's not a cuddly cat at all. Are you? Jump up. Oh goodness. Oh you're going to get mad. Tell YouTube, hey, tell them. Say hey, YouTube. Tell them. Tell them. Say hey. Oh my goodness. So yeah, that's it for this week. I've really enjoyed talking to you guys and interacting with you in the comments. Um, just you being here and watching this video. It, if you don't like comment subscribe and all that just you watching the video helps me and i greatly appreciate you for that so again i hope you guys have an amazing week and hopefully when i update next week it will be not bad news <laughs> bye everybody shoot She really does love me. Oh, Pookie. Oh, Pookie. You shouldn't have jumped on the table then. You shouldn't have jumped on the table. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness.